My name is Ian Stonebridge, and I'm an animator at Tactic Studios. I'm Sarah. I'm the production assistant here at Tactic Studios. My name is Lucas Hug, and I'm art director here at Tactic Studios. My name is Dave Herzog, and I'm the tech director at Tactic Studios. I, along with Jesse, am also part owner of the company. As an art director, uh, I'm helping the team define the artistic vision of the game. I'm making sure that uh, we follow the vision and we don't deviate too much from it. Uh, I'm trying to make sure that uh, it fits the game design. And I think the vision always like evolve in a way. It doesn't have to evolve too much, that is. But I think still it gets stronger. Uh, I create gameplay and cutscene animations. These animations can range from someone uh, opening a door, walking around, firing a weapon to just standing around doing nothing. All actions that a character performs in a game need to be animated before being implemented into engine. So that's pretty much what I do is I create animations, sometimes from scratch, sometimes I use motion capture. And uh, I work with our gameplay programming department to get these animations implemented into the game engine. As tech director, my role is overseeing the programming team and core engine development. So this covers the entire gauntlet of game production, including everything from game mechanics, animation, physics, AI, networking, tool development, and of course, my personal favorite, graphics. I wrote the Immortal Engine's DX12 renderer, and I'm responsible for all the major rendering features. Things, uh, everything, including material pipelines, post effects, scene rendering, you name it. Um, I also work closely with all other departments to make sure everyone's needs are being met. So on a day-to-day -day basis, this includes everything from developing cool new things, whether it's in rendering or physics land, or just making sure things like animations work as expected, meshes and materials are rendering as they should, making sure tools are working as they should, basically making sure all things tech-related are ready to rumble. I do a lot of things as a production assistant. Generally, what I try to do is smooth out a very busy production schedule by taking on simpler tasks that clutter up the to-do list of those who specialize in their field or that department. I also organize all of these tasks and the project in general in software like Jira and Confluence. I've also assisted in marketing, social media, um, hiring, training new employees, planning staff events, and uh, much, much more. <laughs> So I started doing like a little bit of uh, applied art, so a little bit of architecture, industrial design, graphic design. Then I went to a big school in Paris uh, to uh, learn about uh, graphic design. And one day I was like playing uh, Max Payne in the time. My friend called me and he was like, hey, do you want to come in this 3D school? And I was like, yeah, why not? So I started to learn like 3D. And then I was like really seduced by the video game art. And I decided to learn myself. One day I had like the, the chance to be junior texture artist at uh, Pyro Studio in Spain. They were really nice with me because I was like very junior. But one of the best studios that I worked for is Digital Extreme. I was like uh, very much involved in Warframe. It was like such like, an amazing experience. I had the opportunity too to work on Halo 4, uh, the DLCs. That was like really interesting too. And now I'm at uh, Tactic Studio. I graduated from Vancouver Film School's 3D animation and visual effects program in 2016. Uh, after graduating, I started working on kids cartoons for Netflix, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, and a few others. Towards the tail end of this, I was also working part-time as a, a professor at, at Algonquin College teaching animation to second-year college students. Only recently in the past year did I make the switch to uh, video game animation with uh, Tactic Studios. Before Tactic Studios, I went to University of Waterloo for computer science. Then after school, I went to work for Capcom Mobile for several years, working on mobile titles such as Street Fighter II, Resident Evil Genesis, Lost Planet Track Zero, along with a whole bunch of other Capcom titles. Before Tactic Studios, I was primarily an executive assistant for a lot of YouTubers, influencers, uh, people like that. I also worked a lot in sales and that is how I ended up switching over to executive assistant work is I started being the assistant to the managers and the CEOs of those marketing companies. 
Video games are a hobby of mine, and they have been since I was a kid. Uh, I play video games to, re to reduce stress, uh, to keep in contact with old friends, and to just have fun, really. There's a lot of crossover in the uh, animation software used between the video game industry and uh, the uh, film and television industries. Uh, so I was able to hop over with uh, relative ease. And uh, as a bonus, now I get to create content for one of my favorite hobbies. You know, I've always been passionate about games. My first programs I coded uh, when I just learned stuff back in grade 11 and 12 were small games like Arkanoid. And I've always loved computer graphics and other awesome tech related to games. So it just made sense to merge my absolute love and passion with games with my technical ability to actually get it done. I actually ended up in the game industry because a friend of mine asked me if I'd ever considered any sort of career or job in production because my skill set sort of lends itself to that sort of job. I didn't really have an interest in the film industry. I am not a really big movie buff, but I do really like video games. So I started leaning towards video game production and I ended up looking for jobs in that field. And I got my job here at Tactic Studios. Uh, Minky introduced me to Dark Souls, and now like, all the other games doesn't have any taste, so it's a, it's a little bit like a curse in a way, but uh, yeah, I'm into uh, Dark Souls games. Uh, there was like an exception though, since like probably like one, two years, I've been playing a Hunt Showdown. It's, uh, it's a really well done game. I kind of like it a lot too, so. Uh, well, right now I'm into uh... Deep Rock Galactic and uh, Satisfactory. I usually find some time to slip in a quick game of Civilization or maybe a game of League of Legends with my friends. With all those being said though, I've always had a soft spot for RuneScape. I've been playing that game for uh, 20 odd years. I love the classics like Counter-Strike, Dota, anything Battlefield related. I was a huge fan of Battlefield 2 Bad Company. Also put way too many hours into games like Diablo 2 and from a storytelling perspective I love the old Final Fantasy games like Final Fantasy 7, 8, and 9. They are my favorites to go back and replay. I like a lot of different games. Uh, probably some of my ultimate favorites would be Spyro, uh, Alice Madness Returns, Ori in the Blind Forest, Ori in the Will of the Wisps. I've also been feeling a lot of survival craft lately, so I've been playing a lot of Green Hell and Project Zomboid. Because I'm a digital artist, right? I sculpt uh, digitally, I paint digitally, so I'm really trying to. Oops, so the other side. I really try to, to catch on and, and learn uh, new techniques, right? One day I had like a course with uh, Simon Lee, really famous uh, sculptor, and, uh, and I did this. And just because I had to use my hands and it was like, uh, there was a smell, there was like lots of things, but like the clay and stuff, uh, I'm really proud of it. It's really tough uh, to be able to do that. It would be way easier for me to just go on uh, on ZBrush and made it pretty fast. Look, it's a fish baby. A personal project of mine that I'm super proud of would be a convention that I helped organize and run back in 2020. We also did another year in 2021. It was a horror virtual reality convention called HorrorCon VR. Uh, it was super fun. Attendance was amazing and super unexpected. It went so well. We had amazing guests. I just thought it was fantastic how everything turned out. And it was a very small team, so I was really, really proud of that. Also, here at Tactic Studios, I, uh, I made this video. <laughs> and I made a lot of the other videos that you see here on the Tactic Studios YouTube channel. So a couple years ago, I found this character online, this big guy here, and I decided to do a animation juxtaposed to his size. So I decided on a uh, Olympic tumbling routine. I'm no Olympic tumbler, so I found Olympic footage of uh, Simone Biles, and I uh, used that as video reference to make this animation. So I uh, took this animation and I uh, decided to tweet it out to uh, Simone Biles herself, and uh, Look at that, she tweeted me back, so me, starstruck, decided to never make another tweet again. Thanks for watching, bye!